The coronavirus crisis has led to people helping people, right? Now some teenagers are doing their part to help out in their own communities. Yeah, Rob, News 5's Tracy Carlos shows us how they're creating life-saving equipment to protect the essential workers we see every single day. It is the life-saving equipment doctors, nurses, and first responders need. Personal protective equipment. It's in high demand and short supply. So that's where Sewa International and three local teenagers come in. The teens are taking part in a six-week youth engagement program using 3D printers to make face shields. We thought we should encourage and engage the youth and also uh, give them opportunity to contribute to COVID-19 relief efforts. This Solon High School senior is involved in competitive robotics. Now he's using those skills to help others. 3D printing, in my experience, is great for making like architectural models or toys and such, but um, I think it's much better to use it as, uh, especially in a time of crisis that we're in right now, as a way to give back to the community and uh, protect and change people's lives. The goal is to make and distribute 500 face shields by July 1st, and they are well on their way. 3D printing, um, that's, you know, that's that's all foreign stuff to me. And the fact that these, these kids are so computer savvy and they're able to do this for their community is, is just a very heartwarming thing. On Sunday, face shields were hand delivered to Menorah Park in Beechwood. Young people do goodness and care and their acts of kindness is really unbelievable. But this program is aimed at protecting the essential workers we all see every day. Think of restaurants, the servers or the waiters, the bus boys, uh, you know, our pharmacists, right? I mean, if you can protect a lot more people, in addition to the firemen, the police, or the hospitals, I think we will be able to decrease the spread a lot more. On Saturday, a special delivery to workers at Subway and Antonio's Pizza in Solon. Well, in some cases, I can see the impact that I'm having on people. And uh, to me, that's just humbling. And um, it just shows how someone doing an action to help other people can change another person's life. Um, it feels pretty good because you know you're making a direct impact on someone's life. And perhaps even saving a life. Tracy Carlos, News 5.